What's up everybody, Matt Nuzzo, we're here at Real to talk to you about the Armstrong HS1250. So HS1250 has been a long anticipated wing. Uh, people have been chatting about it, hearing about it. Army's been working on this one for quite some time because it is really the, uh, a wing size that works for a ton of sports and a ton of different people. I've been kiting it, surfing it, and winging it. Um, one of our team riders has been using it uh, behind the boat. Uh, it's a really, really awesome, very interesting wing. My favorite uh, a you know, aspects to it are using it in the surf and then also winging on it. Because winging is basically an extension of surf foiling, but even though you're kind of using it for different purposes. So I'm gonna start with uh, riding in the surf, um, where's my primary focus. Uh, the 1250, I mean, this thing is really quick, pumps really well turns really well like it's a you know a lot of people will call this a high aspect wing this is actually a true mid aspect you know and it is definitely a little more bladed out than like the cf series 1200 uh thinner profile too flatter um and it has some downturn on the uh on the wing tips uh so you can get some roll and some some uh some good turns and so when you first hop up on this this wing it does take a little bit more uh, forward speed to get going. Once you get going, very stable, just like our all Armstrong stuff. Once you come out of the back of a wave, the pumping is electric, like has tons of glide, lots of speed on those pumps. Um, unlike other pumping wings, this thing turns insanely well. So once you go into a turn, it just rolls right over for you and comes right through that, that turn. And also I found that, you know, like uh, when, you, when you roll it and, and bring the wing tip up, you'll hear it ventilate a little bit and it just, you know, you just gotta for, push it right through and it, it just goes right through the turn, even if you, you winged out. So um, unlike other wings that I've tried, as soon as the, I hear a breach, I'm wiped out. This thing, you actually can push through it. I was talking to some of the Armstrong's pro riders like Sky Rama and Rio Stevens and Sky's like, you know, he's a bigger dude and he's riding mostly the 1050. He's, this is his kind of, my legs are super tired wing um, or, you know, something where he's pumping way out the back. And um, he's like, yeah, you can put this thing. He's like, I'm getting this thing, like most of the wing out of the water and really easily able to recover. So he's riding at the top tier. Uh, Rio Stevens also, you know, he's one of the best kite surfers in the world. Uh, really good foiler, see him do a ton of toe stuff with it. Uh, he's loving how it just goes rail to rail, but he's just like, yeah, I just never could really do that great, do that well connecting waves and stuff. And you just, he sent me videos of just him lapping. Like he got this wing a few weeks before I did. And he was just like, He's like, ha ha, check it out. I'm taking laps and you're not. Like, and he's just absolutely killing. He's like, everyone that he's riding with is like, what are, you know, why, how did you get so much better so fast? And the gear just made him that much better that quicker. So, you know, for the intermediate, uh, for the intermediate surf oil, it just really excels and just totally, uh, you know, it's gonna really step your game up. It's just an awesome all around wing for small waves, bigger waves. Um, as I've gotten into a little more surf, it does fly. So it goes really fast, so it does handle, and it kind of bridges the gap, um, you know, between the 1050 and the 1550. It really bridges that gap really nicely, um, and it has tons and tons of glide. Um, it isn't the, it has a, needs a little more forward speed, so it's not the easiest for takeoff. Beginners can use it and grow into it. That's, you know, it's a user-friendly intermediate to advanced foil, but if you're a true beginner foil surfer, it's not the best wing for you. But if you're an ass, you know, a decent surfer, you could definitely get this and, and get going with it. Uh, winging, this is by far the best foil that I've used for winging. Um, winging, I'm using the, the 1250 and the 1850 here. So I just kind of brought them out just to show comparison. Um, really interesting that they're, they're really close in, in design. You know, 1850 is just awesome for light wind and for gliding, um, you know, and then winging on this 12, 1250 is just like, super fast can go rail to rail really quickly uh to stay with swells like you know i'm just riding kind of small you know small waist high days will go out and just catch some bumps on the outside and you can just turn and glide with waves for such a long time also being able to hit that higher top speed is really great i was actually hitting a higher top speed on this 1250 than i've been on the 1050 um you know just from using a garmin watch but i've been able to hit higher speeds winging on it which is like wow that's pretty pretty insane um, kiting, I like it, but I like the 1050 better for kiting. Um, it is, uh, you know, it does, when it, when it rolls, like it's stable and it's easy to ride, uh, it rolls well, but you know, it, it doesn't feel quite as nimble as the 1050 for kiting. Um, so I like that roll that you get out of the 10, 1050 um, better than the HS 1250. That being said, for a lot of kiters, for light wind, for cruising, it does work well. Again, it's not the best beginner, foil for for kiters but again if you're a decent 
uh, kite foiler or want something for light wind, um, this is going to be an awesome option. And again, anyone can get this foil, ride it and love it. Really where it excels, pumping and gliding um, and having that blend of pumping and turning because it's really hard to get a wing that pumps really well but also turns really well. So it, you get high speed, pumping, gliding, turning, it kind of is that one-stop shop, does everything. I'm using the 1250 more than any other wing in my quiver right now and absolutely loving it. If you want more reviews or find out which Armstrong foil is right for you, reach out online at realwatersports.com or give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000. See you guys on the water.